Hi, good evening, how are we doing? Uh, I'm just in from work, I've had a face wash and as you can see I've got some pre-shave on for tonight's shave uh, which we'll discuss in a wee while. I've had a shave since the last video so we shall move on swiftly to what we're using tonight. The pre-shave is Prasso pre-shave. It's mentholated you can get smaller tubs than this, but I just bought a big tub for ease and cost, so I've got a stock of it. You can also use this as a post shave, which we're going to do today, uh, but you can't use it with alum because it reacts and goes lumpy and horrible if you use alum and then you use this. So if you use witch hazel, you can use this. Or if you use, don't use any witch hazel, don't use it. Just use this, and away you go. So, pre-shave and post-shave is Parasso. The razor for today is the Rockwell 6S. Stainless steel razor, three-piece, adjustable. Uh, it says adjustable. You get different plates with the Rockwell. There's the, the other two plates there. As you can see that's plate 6 and plate 5. That is plate 4 and plate 2 and the plate in here tonight is plate 3 and plate 1. And basically when you assemble the razor the number you can see is the plate you're shaving with. Generally when I shave with aggressive or adjustable razors I start level 3 and I'll finish off level 4 and I'll move to the level plate 2 for the third pass. Tonight I'm going to do something different. I'm going to start on level 1 for the first pass and then we're going to change it to level 3, change the plate over. The blade for tonight is Jeanette Wilkins sword. Brand new, so I've marked it out by with one dot to indicate the first shave. I'll just get it out of the paper. So We've done pre-shave, we've done razor, we've done blade, soap, OSP, lemon, peppermint and menthol. An English soap from James, very good soap. It's tallow, that's the soap in the tub, you can see it comes pre-stamped with OSP when it's relatively new. It's tallow soap, it's not a, fa not a face freezer. But the menthol does build as the passes progress. And the brush, which is currently loitering in my brush soaker, which is a an old jam pot or a like an old pot I got it from one of the local charity shops 99p. The brush for tonight is Macito Shaving 24mm extra density finest badger so that's been soaking for about five minutes while we're a face wash pre-shave has been on a few minutes now so we'll get lathered up get the brush loaded up i'm just going to put the blade in first we're going to use plate one for the first pass just something i've never tried before other people recommend starting low than going high. Generally, people start higher than go low. So, blade loaded, and we have plate number one installed. So, I'll just shake, I'll give the brush three shakes, and we'll get into the puck. Nice send. Not a complicated scent, but it is a nice scent. The lemon and the peppermint, well balanced. And I say the menthol isn't strong, it just builds as the, the passes progress. So, how's your week gone? It's Wednesday, hump day. Hump day is finished with downhill now. Weekend shortly. Take things from there. Uh, I don't know about where you are, but where we are, 
It's certainly been cold the last few nights. Uh, the weather forecast is saying probably four or five degrees or some nights. So that, then we've got the brush well loaded into the tips. We'll get the excess soap off the top and off the sides of the tub. That was next door's German Shepherd. In case you were wondering, we'll get this load painted on. You can certainly smell the lemon. It's quite a fresh, quite a fresh lemon scent in this one. Uh, I didn't have another piece up until I bought this and I bought the eucalyptus and menthol for when it was warm a few weeks ago during the summer. Uh, just get some warm water into the sink. Some people would happily share with that. However, just going to dip the tips. A few figures of eight, just to get the water passed around. Oh, lost the hair. Mosquito brushes aren't expensive uh, in comparison to some of the other badges that are available. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. Not as to where you are, you can buy the one off eBay, classic shape, I think it's classic shaving or classic 2012. You'll find a link to let me google that for you below and uh, you'll find a link in there to the classic shaving shop. They do different size brushes, 24, they do different size handles. And we've also got, that's the 30mm version in a horn handle. Tonight, we're staying small. Okay. Bit more water. And I'm happy with my Santa Claus beard. Sup doesn't even taste too bad. So, Rockwell, to let it work with the sword, plate one on the lowest setting. Uh, which side we should we start tonight? We'll start this side for change. You can see that plate one doesn't really take much off. Some people say it's unusable on their beards. And that, as it says, your mileage may vary. It's a very mild setting on plate one. I normally use plate one when I first got this way I used plate one, tried plate one first of all 
I'm going to use it for pickups, cut up past them, plate three. Uh, last few times, numbers of times I've used this razor, I've just basically left it on plate three. Uh, it's not an aggressive razor, it's built like a tank, it's not light. All the specs are in there. There'll be a link below to the Rockwell site where you can find all the specs. As you can see, there's certain parts of the beard. The razor has really touched. It's removed some hair, fair amount of hair. That was three days of growth. There we go. First pass done. More than happy. Apart from this area, really not bad to put one for first for an opening pass. Right, get this plate, plate changed over. So handle off, base plate over, handle back on. So we're on plate number three and cut all across the game passes again and we're done. You might notice fellow haircuts since uh, last video. For about two months before that, I'm shaving my head with the wet razor, wet razor, with the safety razor. And uh, I did one shave with a razor I'd used a fair bit of time. I got an angle wrong and took two lumps out of my head. So I basically let the hair grow. It's probably the best part of two and a half weeks' growth, which came off you know, the other night with uh, a set of trimmers. So in the next video, the hair might be even shorter again. I'm just going to add a bit more water to the brush. Not dipping the tips and just dripping some water into the tips. Like I said earlier, up until I got this soap, I never had an OSP soap, obsessive soap perfectionist. Most of my soaps are from English artisans. Most of them are from one English artisan, which is Wickham. I'm a big fan of Wickham soaps. Scents are the strongest. It's a vegetal soap. The performance is excellent. And this, as a towel based soap, is very, very good. First feel afterwards is spot on. So, plate number three, across the growth. I feel a huge difference between plate one and plate three. And just for a change, what the hell? Throw caution to the wind. Let's just go to the middle. Two 
few half grains into the middle. Well, I'm happy with that. You can work, work, work on that quite easily. However, I won't go any further. Excuse me, take. Quick fit. And third pass. I'm going to leave it on plate three and I'm going to go against the grain. Couple of little weepers on the chin, nothing to worry about. I've got see the prosso and everything else to my left or to my right. We'll uh, sort that out after the shave. I certainly feel the cooling effect of the menthol now after three passes. It's uh, stronger than the first pass, but it's not intense. It's, uh, it's quite a pleasant cooling sensation. I think James has got this so spot on for what he wanted. Okay, down here, I've got a few dimples, just little, little holes, voids. I tend to find if I shave diagonally both directions, 45 degrees, it's goes uh, instead of trying to go straight up, I get a better shave, no weepers. It's just finding out what works for you. I know for a fact there'll still be some pickups I could do down here. 
to the brush, three passes. Still a good load of soap. Quick fig about, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, the rest of this, I'm going to have a face wash with it, then do a warm water rinse, a cold water rinse, and then we're back for the post shave. So, I'll see we're you back. after this. Cold is water, warm water, or warm water, cold water, and a clean off. I'm a happy man. Quality shave, really enjoyable, enjoyed that. So, post shave, like I said earlier, I'm going to use the Prasso as a post shave, as well as the pre-shave. No album, no thirst today, and we're going to follow that up with one of my favourites, Floyd. Mentorado Vigoroso. Uh, I tend to buy a bottle of this every year on holiday in Tenerife, it's about three euros a bottle. Uh, you can get it in the UK, Gemstone Trading are a big supplier of it. So the next quandary you have is balm or splash? Or splash or balm? Which way around do you go? Everyone has their own, everybody has their own preferences. For this one today, I'm going to do splash first. This is mentholated to go along with the soap. It's basically mentholated barber shop. Doesn't really smell much, doesn't last long. A few drops into the hand. And we're gonna follow that up with the presso. So I'm just gonna scrape some out. Up is more way more than enough. Just reduce that. So scrape some out into the hand. This is basically camphor and menthol. Uh, smells a bit like really mild Vicks. It does work with a post shave, it's quite refreshing. Especially in warmer days. So let it soak in for a few moments and we're done. Give the hands a quick rub. That's us. Done and dusted. I don't know how long we've been going because when I have the screen flipped over on the camera, it doesn't give me a timer. But three days shave, three days growth. I'm more than happy. So that's it. That's the shave done. Uh, the next shave will be whether I've video or not, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So I'll keep an eye out on the channel. If you enjoyed it, comment below, like and subscribe, and hopefully. I'll see you and your friends, maybe a few, few more subscribers, in the next shave. Thanks for watching.